Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past hanging out with Mickey. Got some items that sold on eBay for you today. We got our normal, just everyday items that sold on eBay and uh, yeah, check it out. Cool stuff. Yes, and here we go. We have 10 items that sold on our main eBay account. And uh, uh, for all of our new subscribers out there, this is Mike from Newfound Pass, and I show everything. I don't cherry pick. I don't show you the big, huge dollar items. I show you the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. And it's usually everything in between. <laughs> every once in a while we get something great. Every once in a while we get something horrible. And, uh, yeah, that's just part of it. Yeah, every, everybody still, even me, after 20 years of doing this, still has a bad buy every once in a while. And uh, there may be something in here like that, and I do not know honestly <laughs> first up we have this adidas uh, trifoil track suit and this is the both the tops and the bottoms this has a Beth bethune cookman softball on it and uh, i got a couple of these at one time the other one or no uh, never mind i got this standalone uh, i had this for not too terribly long a few months i mean oh check that out wasn't that awesome love it when that happens when i'm recording <laughs> but uh two in a row wow but i got this for um about 750 or so since it was a set the top it looked brand new but it didn't have the tags it looked like it had never been worn but the bottoms did have the tags brand new with the tags but it definitely was a set you know the color everything went together so it didn't have too terribly much into them maybe like 750 or so i can't remember exactly but yeah just really really or maybe the tops did have new with tags you know what i think i'm gonna yeah Maybe the tops did. It looks like just the bottoms did, but it looks like both of them were new. Hey, that's really good anyway. So, uh, yeah, this uh, had this listed for thirty-one eighty-eight plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. I guess I'll get on with it. <laughs> Fumbling around this morning, but pretty cool item. You know, brand new with the tags, Adidas stuff. Just like most things, you can't really go wrong. Next up, this this is a really cool Atlantic Watercraft Ultra Fin Hydro Foil. You can't find these anymore. I mean, they make versions of this, but not this particular one anymore picked this up for just a couple dollars the package was extremely shelf worn but you know a lot of times that doesn't matter you know just paid a couple bucks for it and you see right there it says fits all outboards and stern drives for certain uh motors and stuff so and yeah just picked this up for a couple bucks and this didn't last too long uh, i had this up for 28 dollars and 16 cents and somebody shot me an offer of 20 dollars and I went ahead and accepted. And for one reason, is there in Hawaii? In Hawaii. <laughs> so shipping on this was really, really big. Uh, you know, shipping stuff to Hawaii, unless if it, unless it can fit into a flat rate box or a flat rate envelope is really high. And there was no way this was fitting in any kind of flat rate. But uh, I went ahead and accepted, sent that out to them, and they were happy to have it. Next up, we have this Thule System 576 locking ski rack made in Sweden. I picked this up just a couple weeks ago. This was new in the box, but it was missing some nuts on it. I showed the picture here, and I put it in the uh, description that that this that little screw right there, that little thing times four, those were missing. But I put that in the description, and it didn't matter. I only paid a couple dollars for this, and I listed it up for $37.29, and somebody shot me a best offer of $30 plus shipping, and I accepted $30 quick flip going out in the summertime a ski rack so yeah that's pretty cool next up is another <laughs> just so odd isn't it i love selling christmas and winter stuff in july you know <laughs> sell all kinds of stuff all year round back when i owned my big flea market antique mall people you know vendors that signed up would always ask me well what sells well everything sells i have sold uh you know air conditioners in winter and i've sold heaters in summer and it, the same applies on ebay i'll sell christmas in summer i'll sell it all year long but this was the Debbie, Debbie Mom Sakura Oneida uh, set of four glasses. And I only gave a few dollars for these. And these actually made it through the winter season last year and didn't sell. But I still kept them listed because you never can tell. And I had them up for $21.61. And somebody shot me a best offer of $17.61 plus shipping. And I accepted $17.61 selling Christmas stuff in July. Next up, this AT&T Model 1855 Digital Answering System Speakerphone Caller ID Call Waiting. This is an interesting story. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get the particulars out of the way first. I think I gave about $6.50 for this because I got this not too long ago at all. I'm pretty sure it was $12.99 and uh, uh, half off that day, so $6.50. Had this listed for $39.40 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. Full asking plus shipping. 
when I sent this out to the person, you know, it got to them on time and they messaged me. They're going, I can't, you know, there's this display, you know, the display, there's a name on it all the time and it won't go away. <laughs> Do you know where I'm going here? So it has a caller ID there. You can see it on the box here. See that? It has the caller ID there where it pops up, you know. It's just like a cell phone, but this was a landline. And uh, they were like, this won't go away. This is on there. I plugged it in and everything, and it won't go away. And I, and I had to... I had a why sorry I just found this funny it's a sticker and they didn't realize that was a sticker on the phone so I had to tell them it's a, it's it's probably a sticker just you know gently peel it off of there and everything will be fine and they messaged me back and they're like you're right it was just a sticker I'm so sorry <laughs> uh, but you know that's you know you just got to be patient with people right it sometimes it's hard to do customer service is really really hard uh, you know I had a situation with my auction that just uh yeah he spun out of control and customer service went out of the window when he called me a liar so uh but you know most of the time you have to be patient and walk people through stuff and the and it works the situation works itself out like with this phone next up this vintage mid-century modern danish folding scissor teakwood magazine rack holder yep we buy and sell stuff like this all the time uh I, <clears throat> these stuff is usually long tail but you know we picked this up for just like five dollars i mean really really cheap and had this listed for sixty dollars and 64 cents plus shipping and that's what it sold for full asking 60 64 plus shipping and uh yeah i didn't mind that we had this you know a few months but this was in not perfect condition either you know see i took close-up pictures there because i am an honest seller <laughs> see it had some flaking on the veneer there see the the joints looked like they had been re-glued so this wasn't in perfect condition by any stretch of the imagination. But, and if it was perfect, it'd probably sold for a hundred dollars, but you know, $60, uh, you know, that's pretty really good profit margin. And I can't tell you how much of this stuff we've sold over the past couple of decades. And we just love picking it up and love selling it. Next up, this Esteban's rock on collection, Amber ice guitar lessons, 10 DVDs. This is a complete set. Pick this up for like $5 or so. They had it, taped up you know the whole set taped up and this did take a few months to sell but it got down to $24.39 plus shipping and that's what it sold for full asking plus shipping and this can go media mail so that was really good too I don't you know it has the priority up here but I also offered media mail and I think that's what they picked I'm not 100% certain but yeah just a really easy bread and butter sell DVDs you know took pictures of the back all the discs were, discs were clean always take a picture of your you know, I couldn't do all the discs, but I picked one, you know, probably the worst one to take a picture of. And all the hinges and the clasps on the cases were, were perfect. So this is just a really good set. Clean. And, uh, yeah, glad to move that on. Next up, this really cool Jack Daniels by Dragonfly Old Number 7 brand button-up short sleeve shirt. Men's Extra Large. This is really cool. You know, I gave about $5 for this or so. I think I gave a dollar or two more than I usually do for shirts like this. But just because this one was really cool. This was not new. It was pre-owned, but it was in really good condition. Even the buttons. Check that out. That old number seven brand. Just really cool shirt. I yeah, picked up, you know, stuff like this when I find it. But you know, it was from 2003. Extra large. Yeah, really nice. It didn't last too terribly long. Uh, let me see here. I had this listed for $27.74, and I got a best offer of $25 plus shipping, and I went ahead and accepted. And this was through the Global Shipping Program. And <laughs> I'm curious to see how this one turns out because... The guy, I accepted the offer on this, you know, and the guy messaged me a little bit later, but I didn't see it till like the next morning. He, he messaged me right after, he, you know, I accepted the offer saying he wanted to cancel because the shipping was too much. You know, global shipping program stuff's high, but I didn't see it till the next morning. And by the time that I saw his message, the next message, his message the next morning, he had already paid for it. <laughs> you know, he was, he didn't say boo after the first message he just paid for it so i shipped it out it was paid for so global shipping program were pretty well covered anyway so yeah pretty nice little sell next up this intel development db86 software debugger had this one forever but i got a lot of this stuff this sealed software and sealed electronics at an estate sale like three years ago 
and I think this is the last one. Honestly, I really do. I got a huge lot of it, and I am I made thousands and thousands of dollars on this lot. And uh, this was the last one. I had it listed up for thirty dollars and sixty two cents plus shipping, and took a best offer of twenty five dollars plus shipping. So yeah, see, it's sealed, brand new in the package. Yeah, what can you say? Just had it forever, but it did finally sell. Everything sells eventually. And the last item for today is this San Antonio Spurs 1973 Carl Banks G3 reversible coat. And this is a 6XL. Yes, this thing was huge. It was, I could wrap, I could wrap it around me twice, literally. And uh, this was in really good condition. I picked this up for about 10 bucks or so. I paid up a little bit for it and it had it for a little while, but took, you know, pretty good pictures of it. And this is one side of it. One side of it was like a, uh, kind of a woolish type fabric i don't think it was wool but it was that type of fabric but then you reverse it and there's the back side of the the wool type fabric and had patches on the arms the other side looked was more the slicky quilted type material that was pretty neat wasn't it so yeah i mean i'd buy that every day of the week i had this listed for 54.90 plus shipping and somebody gave me a best offer of 40 dollars plus shipping and i went ahead and accepted ready to move on selling coats and jackets and christmas stuff and winter stuff all throughout the summer isn't that awesome that's great but that's it guys thanks i appreciate it uh i have another bolo breakdown video i'm working and i'm trying to put together lots for our auction and um yeah if you need some stuff to sell on ebay we're still selling the mystery boxes they're they're still flying out the door people seem to really really enjoy them so go check out patreon link below become a patron you can buy some stuff to sell and flip on ebay and help me out with my uh, storage situation while you're at it so that's it appreciate it and we will see you guys next time